Hey guys, welcome back to Desi's Figure Musings and Reviews. So, I've got a bit of spare time on my hands, some stuff's been going on. Um, so right now I've just had two boxes. Uh, one from Primetime Toys, one from Robo Toy Base. I've decided it was time to catch up on some third party items I missed, and I bought a couple of new releases. Uh, Fans Toys, uh, Magnum, hopefully is in one of these boxes. Uh, new, new Age Soundwave uh, from the movie. I, I don't know why I bought this. Soundwave, I guess, is just the best design out of all of them. Uh, what else do we get? Hopefully some KFC stuff in the other box. Um, so I just thought I'd open them up, have a little look, you know, usual boring stuff. So, here we go. Start with this one. I love these boxes from China. I think these are brilliant. And no, I did not nearly slice my uh, face off there. We're fine. So, up. this one came from Primetime Toys. Which I'm hoping is Soundwave and Magnum. I'm sure it is. Bear with me while I try not to slice anything off. Okay. That's not how we open the box. Here we go. Yep. Nice bit of packaging. It's packaged so well, in fact, that I can't actually get it out of the box. Here we go. Right. Uh, one, Fans Toys Magnum. Looking forward to completing the Minosaur for these guys, so we're nearly there, aren't we on? It's the third. So I guess that uh, Dead End and uh, Drag Strip are going to be a lot more of a different design, but it's looking pretty good. I assume this is Share a Mold with Breakdown. Haven't really paid much attention. Here we go. The New Age Movie Series. So this is their own, own figure, it's not Legends size so I don't really know what scale they're going to call it but hopefully it'll be pretty decent oh. and we've got something else in the box too um, you know I guess this will be laser beak I think that's what he came with all right let's have a look so in fact we'll open this little box first tiny new a symbol on it oh this is ravage I'm not going to bother messing about transforming all these on camera for you because I will mess it up to begin with. Uh, what have we got here? Two lasers, both on a sprue, so I'll clean those up later. But here is Ravage, nicely articulated. Lots of joints. Uh, movable legs. Let's see, does his mouth open? I think it does open, but I can't. Oh no, there we go. There we are. I mean, the movie Ravage wasn't exactly a beautiful design, but this looks pretty good. Let's just put that down over here. That's might as well just bust on into Soundwave himself, or Mister, as they've called him, Mister Soundwave. Okay, we're in. Calms packaged in car mode. Again, I'm not going to transform it. I'll get it wrong. It will look awful. I'll probably break it. So, here we are. This way. There we go. It's a nicely detailed Sadie's SLK. And there is the robot essentially underneath him. Looking at it, I'd say the transformation is going to be fairly similar to the movie The Best One, which was my favourite out of that entire line, uh, followed closely by the Optimus Prime. That is a very slick looking car. Let's see what else we got in the bag. Big instruction sheet, going to need that. Very large gun. And there's laser beak. Let's pop him loose, shall we? There we are. Again, plenty of articulation. Uh, the feet do turn around, but I feel like that's probably going to snap if I move it. There we go. Uh, 
the neck doesn't move, it's just got a ball joint, but yeah, that's fine. There it is. Looks pretty good. In fact, if anything, I'd say I had that probably upside down, so let's turn that back around. Yeah, the tail doesn't move either, you just got a socket on the end to push it up and down. But that's fine. You can still go down and machine gun people, I'm sure. Let's put that out of the way. There you go. Let's have a look at Magnum. room already, I've only opened one box and two toys. Hopefully nothing's going to be broken out of the box. Here it is, usual fans toys packaging. Apps look good, face looks nice and detailed. Do we have the yep, there is a second face in the box, which is just an angrier smile. Uh, can we can you even see that? No, it's not even worth me trying, it's too small. Uh, again, I'm not going to transform him, but looking at it, I'd say it was probably the same as Breakdown. There he is, very cool, very nice paint. No blemishes on him at all which is fantastic QC21 you've done a good job there buddy well done all right let's move him on over now I don't really have room for the second box so in this should be a load of KFC stuff that I've missed uh, I've been slowly trying to track back and pick up some stuff that I didn't have or just couldn't be bothered to buy at the time and now that I've decided to refocus my collection to G1 and an MP version thereof, this is how it's going to be. I'm trying to find my way into this box, it's proven quite a challenge. Hmm, where is the way in? Let's see what we can get here. I think it's going to be around here somewhere. There we go. Alright, we're in. Some very sturdy packaging, I'll give Tony that. Here we come. This is my first time buying from Robo Toy Base. Obviously, there were some issues around shipping at the moment, you know, the whole global pandemic thing going on. Um, so, we held on to them for I think three weeks in the end before we could ship them out for me. Uh, so, I guess a word of advice is if you don't want to wait, don't buy stuff from Hong Kong because shipping is a bit of a pain right now. Uh, other than that, it was very good, great service. We got some nice corner protectors on the box. What I like to see. Very good. Right, I think I think we're in. Brute force to get into it now. And we are in. Right. So, start here. What have we got? We have Crash Hog or Retgar, depending on how you fancy calling them. As they just re release or release new versions of the Champions, I thought it was a good time to get on them. In. That's going to reflect horribly, but there it is in there. Very cool. Let's uh, let's just open them up super quick. There we go. Just have a quick look without any more reflection. Oh, that stack of boxes is about to fall over. So in here we've got 
some junk, a couple of blasters, uh, an axe, as expected. That's all stashed in down there. Look. I'm not going to get that out. That's the point. Come to wreck guy. He's got a wheel attached in there. That's fine. There we go. Right. So we got decent plastic quality. Uh, KFC releases have come miles since Delta Magnus. That's for sure. Well, I, think, I can't remember what they called it. It was so long ago that I bought that thing. Um, yeah. Here we go. Oh, Citizen stack. That was it. Yeah. So come a long way since then. Plastic feels much better. Definitely less cheap. Great design. Looks like a very convincing red car. Uh, look forward to finding room on the shelf for him somewhere. Where have we put that? Right down there on the floor. Next we have Transistor. Again, because I'm going for Masterpiece line now. Either the blaster. I uh, can't see Takara bringing me one of those anytime soon, so I figured I'd better get me own. Let's try and get into this guy as well. And we are in. Okay. That pile of stuff is getting very precarious now. Okay, so. This guy's been out a while, so I'm sure most of you have seen him by now. But got a blaster, you've got two weapons, an alternate head, uh, which is the original toy version. You've got a cassette in there, two speakers, and he's got the cassette. Uh, you know, everything's going to fall out if I try to take him out, but you know, there he is. Looks very cool. Uh, down over there. And there should be one more thing in here, which there it is at the bottom. Here we have Kingzilla, or Snapdragon, as, as he is to me. Um, I picked up the Ape Face a couple of months ago. I've been meaning to get it for yeah, since it was released, really, but I just never got around to it. I'm too busy buying other things. And I finally decided it was time. What we got here? We got the flight stand. We got a massive set of instructions. I am literally buried in toys right now. Yeah, here it comes. It's big, he's got some serious heft. His head's fallen off, but you know, I guess he is a headmaster, so can't expect miracles. Here it comes. Uh, well, I've got my hand, let's take a quick look. Uh, which one was this? Spasma, I believe. There he is, tiny little dude. Let's just turn him back into head mode. Hopefully without it falling apart. Um, there's his teeth, very convincing. Snapdragon head. Could have done with the colours being maybe a bit more accurate to the G1 toy. But all in all, it looks pretty solid. Very strong ratchet joints on these guys. Take face was the same. That way, there you go. He is solid and he weighs a ton. It's very good. Got to find somewhere a shelf. Um, can't really see him fitting on my 87 shelf anymore. That thing is full, but I will figure something out. So, yeah, this is today's stuff. It's pretty cool. Probably shouldn't buy anything for a while now, but no doubt I will because I'm a fool. Um, and with that, I'm going to leave you. Bye now.